our last segment this week is with this guy behind me. He's one of the most talented artists in the entire country. His name is Jeff Rogers, and he had a ton of momentum going for himself. He was producing his solo album, and his band, the Hirojo Trio, had just won an international blues competition. How did that affect Jeff and the band? We find out. My landlord said, Either come up with the bread or you'll be sleeping out in the streets. And my mechanic smirked when he took apart my murk, saying, Son, I hope you got two good feet. I only got one good reason to get up and face the day. I know the whole thing's crazy. But I'm crazy anyway Someday I might regret it She might leave me high and dry But her kind of trouble is what gets me by I know she's a handful Know she travels at full speed But her kind of trouble is what I need We entered the Road to Memphis challenge in Ottawa that the Ottawa Blue Society puts on to select um, a representative to go to Memphis, Tennessee uh, and compete in the International Blues Challenge amongst 250 plus acts from around the world. So every major center, every, every city with a blues society sends a representative, whether they competed or they just get selected. Um, so there was bands from Germany, from Norway, from Canada, from the United States, from England, from like all over the place. Um, and we like our goal early on when we formed the band was like let's do this competition let's see, see how we could do and we went down there and we won the whole thing you know now we got all these bookings we're at the chicago blues fest we're in las vegas we're in we're doing a caribbean blues cruise all slated for 2020 and then all of that just kind of came crashing down so yeah it was like 2020 started great you know won an international competition amongst hundreds of bands uh, recorded an album in Muscle Shoals and then the world just stopped. And what does that mean for for artists like yourself and uh, you know uh, and, and JW and Jamie? I, I mean you get this momentum I mean that momentum is important right for a band and an artist. Absolutely it's to get that kind of you, you kind of got to whenever you get can get people's attention with like newsworthy stuff and you can post about like oh this exciting thing is happening or whether it's going down to Muscle Shoals and recording an album or it's winning an international competition like all of a sudden, you know, we, we can kind of leverage that and like book some shows and get tours ready and, and it, it's, it's all about visibility. So when you get news like that and, and get progress, uh, you, it, it's an easy way to like get into people's minds and then, you know, kind of build awareness. So when you put out a record, you have people that are like that have heard of you, are interested and are, you know, are going to be there for the CD release, buy the record, support, support the art so that it can be an affordable venture. Um, so when the world shuts down for the better part of a year, like we like we had like wind blowing in the sails, and I was gone. Now we have to basically build a new ship, and hopefully we can catch some wind. Thankfully for for us, like um, most of our festival gigs and bookings that we had booked for this past summer have all been moved to next year. It's not like we lost them; they're just a year later, which is a blessing in disguise. It gives us time to finish a record. Um, although because we wouldn't have been we wouldn't have had a record to tour. Um, this summer, but if it's next summer, then hopefully we'll have a record. So there, there is a silver lining in that. But uh, for all musicians, summer is like summer is where you make 70% of your income most years. Um, if you're, you know, if you're if you're busy and losing pretty much an entire summer, all the weddings, all the festivals, and now they're all going to be in 2021. So now 2021 is going to be twice as many gigs. I'm going to have to turn down so many so many shows. So, like, it, it costs more money in, in, than in more ways than one because now I can't do some shows that I would have been able to because there's twice as many weddings in one year. I can't do them all. Yeah, we've always talked in this community community about supporting, you know, your local artists, Jeff, and if, you know, this is your chance to reach out to the community and, you know, do you have a message for them when it comes to supporting artists like yourself? Um, I mean, support yourself first and foremost. <laughs> but... Uh, I mean, for, for the artists, I mean, it, whether it's tuning in to uh, like a, a live stream every once in a while, like so, if some of your friends, same as like if you have, if you have a, a friend that is an owner in any type of business, you know, whether it's a bakery, like go in and buy, 
you know, buy a, a dozen croissants or, uh, you know, like just a little something. And, and if it's and if you're not comfortable going out, then visit a stream. It's like, oh, these guys are good. Like toss five bucks, ten bucks. Just say good job. And like, which is cheaper than a night out to go see a band in the club. But like those th those things add up. Like that's what that's what can kind of really, um, you know, make make a musician's month. Like because there's there, it, it it can be pretty pretty thin out there. I mean, we could all use a gig. So, but it, it, it it's kind of hard to. There's so many people that are kind of struggling. It feels a little selfish and self-serving to like say, oh well, like support people like me more because I mean, like a lot of people are struggling. Um, take care of yourself first, and then if you can, check out a stream and give ten bucks or something. I've been saving this bottle of wine I can't think of a better time Than to open it up tonight You, my friend You've always been there by my side Every step of this crazy ride You've never seen this to this bottle of wine Just you and me, let's finish this Bottom line. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next week.